AI has exploded in recent times, and we're at the beginning of both a scary and an exciting future. It seems like everything is going to be affected by this technology, and Minecraft is certainly not going to be an exception. So today, let's try to take a peek into the future, and talk about some of the ways this game might change as we all set off onto this brand new journey into a world with AI. By the way, if you'd like to subscribe, that is like totally something you can do. Now, I don't have any fancy graphics, but I did draw you this. And I kind of thought that might sweeten the deal. But ultimately, the choice is yours. Okay, so before we can actually get into, you know, Minecraft's AI future, we need to talk about something really, really important. And that is Microsoft. So Microsoft bought the game in 2014, so they've owned it for quite some time now. And the really important thing here is, is that Microsoft also happens to be a really big investor in AI. They really want to win this race. They really have big ambitions. They want to be a big cheese, basically, in the race for AI dominance. And the thing with that is, is they're going to use all of their assets to try to come out on top. They're going to use Windows. They're going to leverage Bing. They're going to leverage Xbox and Minecraft, you know, arguably one of their crown jewels, in at least in the gaming space. They're going to leverage Minecraft in the AI world to try to come out on top. So as we all know, Minecraft is a sandbox game, but I think Microsoft looks at it as more than just that. I think they see it as almost like a sandbox platform. And we've seen some experiments, you know, over the years, like HoloLens, Minecraft Earth, uh, Education Editions. And I do think that Microsoft definitely does look at Minecraft as a way to experiment with new and emerging technologies. And honestly, it's a really good way to do it because just the basis of how it works is it makes it very easy to try new things. So I definitely think that AI is going to have a really, really big effect on Minecraft's future. We are gonna see some cool stuff. You know, there's definitely gonna be some cool stuff, but there is definitely gonna be some stuff that I think that none of us are gonna like. It's going to maybe affect the game negatively. Who knows what's really gonna happen, but um, I'd love to go over some of these things that I think are going to happen, you know, in the near term and some stuff in like maybe in the far off future. Um, so let's start with Content moderation. So Microsoft, Mojang, whoever's in charge, they have come down quite hard recently uh, in the world of, you know, content moderation. You know, um, like I said, they bought the game nine years ago and at first they kind of very much did take a hands-off, laissez-faire approach and sort of tried not to rock the boat too much. But I think over the years, I think Microsoft has gotten more comfortable and cozy with owning the game. And I think they like owning the game now and they don't mind, you know, stepping on people's toes a little bit more than they used to. And we've really seen this recently with, you know, big strides in changes to like content moderation. You know, nowadays you can get banned from servers like actually, you know, from the game itself, not from servers, but actually from the company are banning you because, you know, you've gone against whatever policy is they want, they, they've set out. Um, you know, if you've got the bad skin, that's bad. If you've got a bad username, that's bad for you. And I think we are going to see a continuation of this in the future. And I think, you know, with all the technologies that are emerging and showing themselves here, I think it's going to be a little bit of a bad time. Let's talk about image analysis. So this is basically the idea that you can um, tell what's going on in an image or scene. And this is actually one of the things that AI has proven to be pretty good at, you know, maybe not right this literal second, but you know, it's going to be here soon, basically. And this is really cool. It's a really cool technology. It's got so many applications, really good ones, some really bad ones too. And I can see a really clear path of what, how, how this is going to be used in Minecraft when we talk about content, policy, blah, all that stuff. Because basically the idea is, is you can take a look at an image or a scene and AI now, the technology is basically there where it can, with a fairly high level of sophistication and accuracy, it can actually tell you what is going on in this image or scene. And when we actually think about this, when we think about actual worlds and servers, you can kind of start to see how this could be a little bit detrimental in how a like content moderation policy might be applied. Because the thing is, is that Microsoft, Mojang, Microsoft, good, Mojang, bad, they have decided that they are happy to accept the mantle, the mantle of, you know, 
moderators to police the game. They've received complaints and stuff over the years of things, and they decided, all right, fine, we will do this ourselves to avoid any complaints about anything. And the thing that I really think is going to happen here is I think Microsoft Mojang is going to go onto, you know, your world, your server, um, with no human intervention, and they're going to have these technologies available to them to be able to basically get a very, very clear insight on exactly what is taking place in a world or server. And the problem I think here really is, is Minecraft is fundamentally a game about, you know, self-expression and creativity. And sometimes, you know, you might build something that might not be, you know, like a super duper squeaky clean, whatever. And, you know, arbitrarily, depending on how harsh, you know, Microsoft Mojang want to be on this, um, they could come down and say, you know what, actually, you're not allowed to build that, or you're not allowed to do this activity. Like, for example, let's say, you know, you built like a, uh, something involving a lot of villages and fire or something. I don't know. But they might say, you know what, actually, that's inappropriate. That's inappropriate to build, that's inappropriate to play in that way, and that is, you know, a bannable offence something. I think we have seen intention here with you know, the banning of skins, etc., and all that. And I think if they have the technology and the ability to do this, I can see how they might do, maybe not to the same degree as what I've said, but I can see how they might go down that kind of path. So that's a little bit of a depressing prospect, but I do think there's quite a high likelihood of something like that happening at some point in the future. And if it wasn't going to, I've now created the timeline, so sorry. <laughs> Um, but I don't actually think it's all bad news. I think there are some really cool things that could emerge from this technology, and uh, let me go over some of them that I think might happen. Okay, so number one, shaders. I think the way that we approach like how shaders work and function, it's going to have a big facelift in the future, and it's going to be completely different, and actually way more enhanced. So basically, nowadays, you can actually change the theme of an image. You can basically say, make this image look like this image and soon you know again it's not there quite yet but we're going to be able to apply this to like footage of the moving image and we'll basically sort of just be able to say hey minecraft make the game look pretty with ai magic and it will actually be able to just enhance or completely change in really really interesting ways how the game looks so i'm kind of curious how they're going to approach voice because Minecraft has taken some pretty big strides in improving accessibility over the years and the thing with like AI and voice is nowadays you can you know you can interpret someone's voice you can translate it into words into executable code and the thing is is that the game hasn't always been as accessible obviously because if you've got any impairments um you're not going to be able to play the game on exactly the same level of you know flexibility etc so it's kind of curious how that might actually improve with voice because we might be able to actually interact with the game using our voice and that can actually be interpreted in ways that at the moment we are unable to so llms large language models that is basically what stuff like chat gpt is based on and I've kind of been having this idea of like, what if they actually built something that was based on, like a model that was based on builds themselves? Like imagine if they took millions and millions of players' builds and in kind of the same way, but in sort of like a more of a voxel space rather than like language, you were able to actually construct builds by just saying, it. you know, like say, like I want to build a castle and you say, build a castle. And once it's kind of learnt what a castle is and what it looks like, you can just kind of create these builds just like out of thin air. So kind of down like a similar vein to that is, you know, when you like start a world and you're like, hey, I would love if I could find a jungle near spawn and like a tiger nearby or something, that kind of thought. What if you could actually, when you start a world, you could just describe the experience or the world that you want to play in, you know, on a really, really deep, complex level. And maybe this is very far into the future, but basically you could say, I want to play in a world that, you know, features lots of really, really complex foresty biomes, etc. And on the fly, the game can actually create the perfect experience that for you to play Minecraft in. And to go down this rabbit hole a little bit more, and we might be getting a little bit far-fetched here, but maybe in the future, once this technology has really matured and sophisticated, we might be able to go even beyond, you know, just asking to generate custom biomes and environments. We might actually say, hey, I want to play in a Minecraft world where I 
role play as a Roman soldier. And it actually generates the players, you know, the content, the interactions all on the fly. So it'd be like as if you were playing on a server, but nobody's real, you know, it's all just made for you. You could create the perfect experience. So ultimately, I think AI is going to have a big effect on Minecraft in good ways and bad ways. But, you know, I think they once said that they want Minecraft to be a 100 year game. So in order for it to be that, it needs to adapt to technologies as they come and go. And AI is one of the biggest technologies in our time. So what do you think about AI? Have you already used AI in Minecraft? And what ways do you think that the game might change as AI becomes a bigger part of our lives? I would really love to know. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, wasn't this fun? Wasn't this new and fun? Uh, I guess I'm a filmmaker now, which is kind of cool, but my credentials. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, have a good one.